Hey Meta, record video. <laughs> nice. These are the Meta smart glasses, and I want to show you in this video how I utilize them here on my trip in Thailand as a full-time content creator because I believe these glasses are more powerful than you think. But before we start, let's ask this one question. Hey Meta, what are the top things to do in Thailand? The top things to do in Thailand include visiting Rayleigh Beach and experiencing the vibrant street lights and culture in Bangkok. Additionally, you can take a boat tour to explore the surrounding islands and their beautiful beaches and snorkeling spots, creating a picturesque backdrop for a tropical getaway. Have a fantastic trip. Change of scenery, we just wrapped up a couple of days in Bangkok over New Year's Eve, which was pretty epic. And now we are down south in the Krabi region where you'll be finding some of the most beautiful places in Thailand. And we are going to stay in Ao Nang Beach for the next couple of days, trying to see if we can go to Relay Beach for sunset today, as well as other islands, which are only an hour off the coast. just in time for sunset here at Relay Beach, which is a beach that's only 15 minutes by boat of where we're staying currently. I just flew the drone as well, which looked pretty epic. We just dived down this cliff behind me and now we're getting ready to get a cool sunset shot as well. I would love to attach the glasses as well at some stage during this trip to the drone, but I still have to figure out how I'm going to do this safely. You can also see that the meta glasses are kind of transitioning to the sunglasses still or back to the uh, see-through glass, which is quite nice. When the sun is kind of dimmed, the glasses are still able to pick that up, that transition, which is quite nice. So definitely recommend if you're in the market for those glasses to get the transition one because they're quite useful, particularly for moments like this where the sun is kind of bright but also not. So the glasses kind of react to that, which is quite cool as well. But for now, let's get the drone in the air. So today we decided to opt in for a private long tail tour to one of the islands called Hong Island. This island looks absolutely insane from what I was able to see online and we are trying to get there right now. We just got picked up by this really very stylish tuk-tuk here and I highly recommend to opt in for a private tour, particularly if you're in town to create content because it's obviously much easier that way. The weather is looking crystal clear, we're almost there, it's gonna be a good day. crystal clear blue water I've seen in Thailand so far. We haven't been to Pipi yet, but this is absolutely epic. The water is just this deep. You can see everything around us. How do you think? It's so, so beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous.
trying to get a nice shot now of the FPV drone. As you can see, it is so beautiful here right now. We have not many people here just yet, so I'm trying to fly maybe from the top of the clip there, cliff there, which you can't see right now, and then dive down over the water and then over the boat. See how we go. just about to pull up here in Hong Lagoon and it's looking absolutely insane straight out of Avatar check this out like right now the glasses perform actually really really good the dynamic range on these are actually pretty hectic I'm quite uh, quite impressed with that and also it's obviously quite nice to be able to record just with the glasses obviously I'm currently recording here with the GoPro but for the sake of this you know for the sake of this example I'd be technically able to just film everything around me right now just with this even a side-to-side -side comparison right now I'm filming with the GoPro in one hand and with the with the glasses and the other I mean it's I don't know, I can't see the footage right now, obviously, but it should be looking pretty good. I mean, yeah, in sunny conditions like this, the dynamic range, the quality is pretty significant. And yeah, definitely something that you can use, particularly for vertical content. I think it's definitely a win for that. That's a prime example. I'm not filming with any other camera. I have this with me because I'm filming Avalon, but I'm in the middle of the water right now, walking, and I'm able to, you know, hand-free capture everything around me. And it helps when you're in a location like this right now. Isn't that true? It is. <laughs> High five, let's go. Uh, what an epic day. Off to the next one. Welcome to PP Island. Today is our first day here exploring, actually. We are currently on the way to Maya Bay, along other stunning islands today. Pretty excited to be flying here, the drone. And we're trying to explore some of the most amazing spots here in Thailand. It's gonna be a good day. So as you can see, there's so many boats here already waiting to get onto Maya Bay here. Pretty hectic. It's gonna stop over there right now and then we have to walk around the corner to see Maya Bay. I'm actually super surprised that there's no one around, like literally. I mean, we have the whole entire beach to ourselves. Now, by all jokes aside, definitely recommend to come here as early as possible. You definitely beat the crowd by a bit, but ultimately if you come earlier the light isn't as good as you may want it to be so you gotta pick your battle here but nice to see definitely a must visit but also don't think i have to necessarily come back for this particular spot so we're just heading back onto the boat now and then we get to experience a couple other islands around here where we also can fly the drone so we did a bit of a change of plan this spot is really beautiful it's actually on the other side of pp island so it's not too far away and it's a beautiful bay. It has like a nice beach at the end there and like almost like a little tunnel that gets you into that bay. into the PP Lagoon, which is probably one of the most anticipated places I wanted to see on this trip. 
and it's looking absolutely ridiculous. Check this out. Look how turquoise the water is. It's so see-through. And there's a bunch of people already around you, obviously, but the light is hitting the water perfectly. And we're trying to get a shot right now of Avalon being on, on the front of the boat as I come down with the drone. Should be a good one. Exactly. So you may remember earlier in the video that I said I would love to attach the glasses to the FPV drone and I think I figured out a way to do so. I attached it in a really amateur way to my GoPro and then taped it around the LiPo battery on the back. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't have high hopes to be honest, but hey, worth trying. So we we're trying to see if we can fly over those boats behind me or even come from the cliff. I obviously can't go too crazy with this setup, but let's see how it turns out. We just got to Phuket and I thought this would be a great opportunity to give you guys my final thoughts of the ray Meta glasses. So let's kick off with the things that I appreciated the most, which is probably the fact that the quality of the videos that you are capable of capturing with these is pretty insane. I mean, if I had my hands full because I was filming one thing, I was able to get a really cool POV slash behind the scenes shot with the glasses, which I thought was pretty sleek and was really useful to share on my socials and Instagram stories. It's definitely something that I underestimated because I thought the quality wouldn't be as good, but it's surprisingly great. Not that the glasses are in any way replacing other cameras, but it's definitely a really cool add-on to your repertoire of gear because it gives you a different point of view. It also really helps to capture some really nice core memories on this trip. I think there were a lot of times where I also forgot that I was filming and it turned out I captured a really cool moment that I wouldn't have Thank captured you. if it wouldn't have nice. been for the glasses. Another thing that I thought I wouldn't use as much was listening to music with the glasses. Don't expect quality like Apple AirPods or anything like that, but it's still good enough to enjoy a good track and just vibe and still be able to listening to your surroundings because obviously they're not in ear. It's pretty funny how it feels like the music is coming from inside your head because of where the speakers are located. And it's definitely a feature that I used quite a lot in this trip as well. Another thing that I also think is really interesting, which is I think still in development, is the integrated AI. Meta has developed pretty much their own Jet GPT, which is inside your glasses. And you are able to ask it for recommendations in your area or ask it for the weather or to translate something for you, which particularly when you're traveling a lot like myself, I do appreciate it's still in development, so it didn't work always, and you do have to be connected to the internet, but I am really excited to see where this is going. Now, the things that I didn't like as much about the glasses was that sometimes you had some sort of vibration going on in the videos, particularly when the light wasn't as good. When you do harsh movements like that, you can see in the video that there's vibration happening, which sometimes caused the video to be absolutely useless because of the vibration. So I really hope that Meta is going to improve that in the future. And lastly, I really would appreciate if videos could last longer than only one minute, because I think sometimes there were moments where I thought I was still recording and then I realized, oh shit, we're not recording anymore because obviously it cuts off at one minute. So I hope they could improve that by extending it to two or three minutes or even 
cut down the videos into one minute fragments. So that way you com you're constantly rolling. Appreciate obviously that the size is quite small and you know everything is inside of these handles, but that would be a really cool feature to improve that in the future. And that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to give you guys a bit of a hands-on review of how you can utilize the Rebel Meta glasses. And I also hope that you enjoyed watching me traveling through some of the most beautiful places here in Thailand. I'm gonna enjoy this pool now and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's get it.